In Las Vegas, we stopped by Audio Control's booth at CES to see what they had on display. Audio Control makes some great gear, designed here in the USA, and they include five-year warranties with everything they manufacture. One of the coolest new products was actually debuted last year at CES, the very unique DMRTA, which is a real-time analyzer, oscilloscope, basically everything in one multi-test tool. Check your system's frequency response, polarity, voltage, clipping levels, and SOP. It runs on everything, Windows, Mac, iPad, iPhone, Android, doesn't matter. It also has a built-in three to five hour battery with USB output for direct connection to digital media receivers, where no CD or DVD player is present. For digital processors, we saw the DM608 and DM810. The 608 has six channels in with eight channels out, and the 810 has eight channels in with 10 channels out. These give you total control and optimization to achieve great sound quality. They also have an option port for Bluetooth streaming and programming with the AC BT24. They also showed off their brand new Power Sports all-weather amplifiers, the ACX301 and ACX304, which are not only splash resistant, but literally waterproof with an IPX6 rating. You can see they have permanently connected wiring to achieve that. These also come with a shocking five-year warranty for a marine rated product. You won't find that anywhere else. The monoblock does 175 watts RMS at 4 ohms and 300 watts RMS at 2 ohms. The 4 channel does 50 watts RMS by 4 channels at 4 ohms and 75 watts RMS by 4 channels at 2 ohms. They also come with a really nice waterproof Molex connector to simplify power and ground connections and installation. The Monoblock's heavy gauge speaker leads also have Molex connectors. If you decide to move these amps to a new vehicle or boat, you can even purchase replacement connectors so you never have to cut the amplifier side of the connector. All controls are below the waterproof top panel. Audio Control's micro amplifiers are all 300 watt amplifiers and come in monoblock with the ACM1300, two channel with the ACM2300, or four channel version with the ACM4300. Their top cover plates are reversible for different looks. All have speaker level inputs and RCA inputs, and not to mention AccuBase. And they didn't make mini amps just to make them like everybody else. They wanted to make compact amps that actually sound good and hit their stringent specifications. The monoblock does 175 watts RMS at 4 ohms and 300 watts RMS at 2 ohms. The two channel does 75 watts RMS by two channels at 4 ohms and 150 watts RMS by two channels at 2 ohms. The four channel does 50 watts RMS by two channels at four ohms and 75 watts RMS by two channels at two ohms. Next up were their full-sized amps, all of which provide substantial power for your system. These range from monoblock to four channel and even six channel options. The D versions have audio controls, DSP and AccuBase built in and all of their full-sized amps do internal signal summing for easy OEM integrations with multi-driver factory systems. The six-channel D-series amps are compatible with the ACBT24 for direct audio streaming and programming. Something else I really liked were their updated line output converters, the LC1i and LC2i. They feature built-in load resistors, New optional turn on mode audio sense for just audio turn on so it doesn't require DC offset, so they'll work great in newer European cars. Ground isolation is now on the top, and low level inputs turn them into a potential line driver if you want. The 2i has AccuBase on the top now, plus features an LED for easier adjusting. The final thing they showed us was a DM RTA kit, which comes with a microphone. ACBT24, mail to mail USB, testing leads, RCA, plus a few other goodies, all in a very durable Pelican case. Let us know if you have any questions about Audio Control's gear and look for their products on our website at qualitymobilevideo.com. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button, but if you hated it, click the dislike button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.